Hello everyone, I'm Brior and welcome back to Good Game Empire. In today's video we will discuss the upcoming change over from Flash to HTML5 that Good Game Empire is expected to undergo some point in early 2019. This video will hopefully answer any questions you have as to why Good Game Studios is making such an initiative to change over the game to something that really shouldn't affect gameplay. Well, here are some answers for you. Good Game Studios as a company was founded back in 2009, and Good Game Empire was released in 2011. Some of you may have been playing since those days. Anyways, back then, Flash was the go-to competitor for making online games or really any form of interactive content on the internet. Adobe Flash had been around since the 1990s, and by 2005, more computers worldwide had Flash Player installed than any other web media format, including Java, QuickTime, Real Networks, and Windows Media Player. Flash is what made sites like Newgrounds.com or Miniclip.com, which you might have first played Good Game Empire on, possible. You might also be surprised to know that YouTube used Flash to power its entire video library for a number of years, although that's no longer the case. Anyways, if you'd like to learn more about the history of Adobe Flash and why it's being replaced by things like HTML5, I will include a link to a video down in the description box below from the Tech Quickie channel here on YouTube. Anyways, the point is that Good Game Studios decided to use Adobe Flash back in 2009 because that's really what everyone else was using, and they wouldn't have wanted new users to be required to install some third-party software just to get the game going. If Adobe Flash was so popular once upon a time, why has it been dying out? Well, that's a good question. The answers are as follows. First and foremost, it is a proprietary piece of software owned by Adobe, whereas HTML5 is an open source alternative. Open source programs tend to have a few advantages. For example, they tend to be more secure because the entire internet can contribute to their development. HTML5 is indeed more secure and it is more resource efficient, meaning that it will use fewer resources on your computer and ideally run smoother. If you think about it, the reason that Good Game Studios chose to work with Flash all those years ago is the very same reason that they're choosing to switch their game over to HTML5. Remember, they don't want players to have to install something from a third-party provider just to get the game running, because that will make it less likely for new players to actually commit to playing the game. And installing or activating something to play Good Game Empire is exactly what players have to do nowadays in order to use Flash. A number of modern browsers, first and foremost Google Chrome, no longer support Flash by default. You have to enable it. And starting in 2020, they won't support Flash at all. So the answer to the question posed at the beginning of today's video is that Good Game Studios converted Good Game Empire over to HTML5 because very soon Adobe Flash won't be supported on the most modern browsers. Good Game Studios is actually rather late to the party. Many other internet games have already made the switch, and even Good Game Big Farm is well ahead of Good Game Empire. Big Farm has already been running on HTML5 since September, and during a transition period, Good Game Studios offered players the choice between Flash and HTML5. It looks like they will do the same thing for Good Game Empire. The first mention of HTML5 on the Good Game Empire forums, by somebody acting in an official capacity, actually came last spring when the developer suggested that the game would be converted to HTML5 over the summer. However, this summer came and went with no mention of HTML5, and we next heard news about the program in the fall, when Good Game Studio suggested it would now come about in December. An open beta to test the HTML5 version of Good Game Empire ran from December 3rd to December 12th of this year. Players were able to access it at the link empire.goodgamestudios.com slash html5. If you visit this link at the time of the making of this video, it will simply redirect you to the Flash version of the game. As for now, the html5 version has been pulled down so the developers can fix a list of minor bugs. I played this myself, although I didn't think to record my screen at the time because I didn't know that it would be a beta that would be shut down, but here we are. 
Anyways, most of the bugs were just small cosmetic things, and I didn't notice anything game-breaking. The experience was largely the same, although Windows did load a little bit faster, uh, as demonstrated by the fact that I could clear out all of my messages from the inbox at once. If you try to do that in the Flash version of the game, it will open the messages. Here are some specific bugs that either I noticed, or that the community noticed and the developers have since recognized on the forums. The coat of arms symbol could change color. The attack screen only showed the highest value tools. Robber barons were shown as burning, even though they didn't have a cooldown. The military hospital showed that there was an empty slot even when there wasn't. You weren't able to see the exact event end time. The diplomacy icon was missing in the Alliance overview window. Uh, some zoom levels didn't function properly and arrival times of movements were wrong if created while the tab was hidden. At least at the time of the creation of this video, Good Game Studios has not specified when the beta will return, or if when it does return, it will actually be the full version of the game. Good Game Studios does normally take a break for the holidays, but I suspect that HTML5 will return in some form before the end of January. That's just a hunch, though. One reason why some players are excited over HTML5 is that this will make it possible to play Good Game Empire on a larger number of mobile browsers. Previously, you would need to install a mobile browser that was Flash equipped to play Good Game Empire, and I've had a tutorial on how to install and use Puffin available on my channel for quite some time. However, recently Puffin's been quite annoying. It's been forcing users to watch ads uh, before it will actually enable any Flash content. So I, uh, as with many other players, will be happy to not have to use Puffin anymore. However, I will say that Good Game Empire is designed to be a desktop game, and so playing this on your phone is never going to be a particularly easy or fun experience. Good Game Studios released a FAQ page on the forums about HTML5, so if you have any additional questions that have not been answered with this video, you can check that page out by visiting one of the links in the description. Anyways, that will be all for today's video. I hope you found it informative, and also that you enjoyed it. And as always, I've been Brior, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.